German cuisine. The cuisine of Germany has evolved as a national cuisine through centuries of social and political change with variations from region to region. Some regions of Germany, like Bavaria and neighboring Swabia, share dishes with Austrian and parts of Swiss cuisine. The Michelin Guide of 2015 awarded 11 restaurants in Germany three stars, the highest designation, while 38 more received two stars and 233 one star. German restaurants have become the world's second most decorated after France. The average annual meat consumption is per person. The most common varieties are pork, poultry and beef. Other varieties of meat are widely available, but do not play an important role. Meat is usually braised. Fried dishes also exist, but these recipes usually originate from France and Austria. Several cooking methods used to soften tough cut shape evolved into national specialties, including sauerbraten, sour roast, involving marinating beef, horse meat or venison in a vinegar or wine vinegar mixture over several days. A long tradition of sausage making exists in Germany. More than 1,500 different types of sausage are made. Most Bürst is made with natural casings off pork, sheep or lamb intestines. Among the most popular and most common are bratwurst, usually made of ground pork and spices, the wiener, Viennese, which may be pork or beef and is smoked and fully cooked in a water bath, and Blutwurst, blood sausage, or Schwarzwurst, black sausage, made from blood, often of pigs or geese. Thousands of types of cold cuts also are available. There are many regional specialties, such as the Münchner Weißwurst, Munich White Sausage, popular in Bavaria or the Currywurst, depending on region, either a steamed pork sausage or a version of the Bratwurst, sliced and spiced with curry ketchup, popular in the metropolitan areas of Berlin, Hamburg and the Ruhr area. Strict regulations governing what may and may not be put into them have been in force in Germany since the 13th century. In the market ordinance of Lonsud in 1236, it was set down that only top quality meat could be made into sausages. Of saltwater fish, Alaska pollock is the most common. Popular freshwater fish on the German menu are trout, pike, carp, and European perch also are lissate frequently. Seafood traditionally was restricted to the northern coastal areas, except for pickled herring, which often served in a fish brachen, as roll mops, a pickled herring fillet rolled into a cylindrical shape around a piece of pickled gherkin or onion, or brathering, fried, marinated herring. Today, many sea fish, such as fresh herring, tuna, mackerel, salmon and sardines, are well established throughout the country. Prior to the Industrial Revolution and the ensuing pollution of the rivers, salmon were common in the rivers Rhine, Elba, and Oder and only slowly started to return along with a growing consciousness for environmental questions and resulting measures, such as state-of-the-art sewage plants, reduction of agricultural deposits, etc. Fish fingers, known as fish stabkin, lit, fish sticklets, are a popular processed food made using a whitefish, such as cod haddock or pollock, which has been battered or breaded. Vegetables are often used in stews or vegetable soups, but are also served as side dishes. Carrots, cauliflower, turnips, spinach, peas, beans, broccoli and many types of cabbage are very common. Fried onions are a common addition to many meat dishes throughout the country. Circa 1900, carrots were sometimes roasted in water, with the broth used in place of coffee. Asparagus is a popular seasonal side or main dish with a yearly per capita consumption of. The white variety is especially popular in Germany and more common than green asparagus. Restaurants will sometimes devote an entire menu to nothing but white asparagus when it is in season. Spargel season, or Spargel season, traditionally begins in mid April and ends on St. John's Day, 24th of June. Breakfast, Frühstück, commonly consists of bread, toast, or bread rolls with butter or margarine, cold cuts, cheeses, jam, confiture or more commonly called marmalade, honey and eggs, typically boiled. Common drinks at breakfast are coffee, tea, milk, cocoa, hot or cold, or fruit juices. It is very common to eat hearty toppings at breakfast, including deli meats like ham, salted meats, salami and meat-based spreads such as Lieberwurst, liver sausage, teawurst or metwurst and cheeses such as gouda, frischer case cream cheese, brie, harzer roller, bergkäse and more. Most bakeries tend to sell belegt brötchen, sandwiches from bread rolls, especially in the morning, for people on the go. Traditionally, the main meal of the day has been lunch, midagessen, eaten around noon. Dinner, abentessen or abendbrot, was always a smaller meal, 
often consisting only of a variety of breads, meat or sausages, cheese and some kind of vegetables, similar to breakfast, or possibly sandwiches. Smaller meals added during the day bear names such as Vesper, in the south, Brotzeit, bread time, also in the south, Kaffee und Kuchen, literally for coffee and cake, or Kaffee trinken. It is a very German custom and comparable with the English 5 o'clock tea. It takes time between lunch and dinner, often on Sundays with the entire family. However, in Germany, as in other parts of Europe, dining habits have changed over the last 50 years. Today, many people eat only a small meal in the middle of the day at work, often also a second breakfast, and enjoy a hot dinner in the evening at home with the whole family. For others, the traditional way of eating is still rather common not only in rural areas. Breakfast is still very popular and may be elaborate and extended on weekends, with friends invited as guests, the same holds for coffee and cake. Since the 1990s, the Sunday brunch has also become common, especially in city cafes. Noodles, made from wheat flour and egg, are usually thicker than the Italian flat pasta. Especially in the southwestern part of the country, the predominant variety of noodles are spatzel made with a large number of eggs, and maltoshin, traditional stuffed noodles reminiscent of ravioli. Besides noodles, potatoes are common. Potatoes entered the German cuisine in the late 17th century, and were almost ubiquitous in the 19th century and since. They most often are boiled, in salt water, but mashed, or cartafalbre, and pan-roasted potatoes, also are traditional dot French fries, called, spoken as pomme frites or, respectively, palm deviating from the French pronunciation which would be palm frite or palm, originally as in German, are a common style of fried potatoes, they are traditionally offered with either ketchup or mayonnaise, or, as, lit.fries red slash white, with both. Also common are dumplings, including Kloss as the term in the north or Knödel as the term in the south, and in southern Germany potato noodles, including schuf noodeln, which are similar to Italian gnocchi. Salads, also modern variations, as well as vegetarian dishes become more and more popular in Germany. With the exception of mustard for sausages, German dishes are rarely hot and spicy. The most popular herbs are traditionally parsley, thyme, laurel, chives, black pepper, used in small amounts, juniper berries, nutmeg, and caraway. Cardamom, aniseed, and cinnamon are often used in sweet cakes or beverages associated with Christmas time and sometimes in the preparation of sausages, but are otherwise rare in German meals. Other herbs and spices, such as basil, sage, oregano, and hot chili peppers, have become popular since the early 80 80s. Fresh dill is very common in a green salad or fish fillet. Mustard, senf, is a very common accompaniment to sausages and can vary in strength, the most common version being middles charf, medium hot, which is somewhere between traditional English and French mustards in strength. Dusseldorf, similar to French's deli mustard with a taste that is very different from Dijon, and the surrounding area are known for its particularly spicy mustard, which is used both as a table condiment and in local dishes such as Sinfrostbraten, pot roast with mustard. In the southern parts of the country, a sweet variety of mustard is made which is almost exclusively served with the Bavarian speciality by Sfurst. German mustard is usually considerably less acidic than American varieties. Horseradish is commonly used as a condiment either on its own served as a paste, enriched with cream, sunny meretic, or combined with mustard. In some regions of Germany, it is used with meats and sausages where mustard would otherwise be used. Its use in Germany has been documented to the 16th century, when it was used as medicine, and as a food, whereby its leaves were consumed as a vegetable. Garlic has never played a large role in traditional German cuisine, as it was long frowned upon for causing bad breath but has risen in popularity in recent decades due to the influence of French, Italian, Spanish, Portuguese, Greek, and Turkish cuisines. Ramson, a rediscovered herb from earlier centuries, has become quite popular again since the 1990s. A wide variety of cakes, darts and pastries are served throughout the country, most commonly made with fresh fruit. Apples, plums, strawberries, and cherries are used regularly in cakes. Cheesecake is also very popular, often made with quark. Schwarzfelder Kirschtorte, black forest cake, made with cherries, is probably the most well-known example of a wide variety of typically German tortoise filled with whipped or buttercream. 
German donuts, which have no hull, are usually balls of yeast dough with jam or other fillings, and are known as Berliner, Pfannkuchen, in Berlin and Eastern Germany, Krapel or Krapfen, depending on the region. Eierkuchen or Pfannkuchen are large, usually around 20 to 24 centimeters in diameter, and relatively thin, till to 5 millimeters, pancakes, comparable to the French crepes. They are served covered with sugar, jam or syrup. Salty variants with cheese, ground meat or bacon exist as well as variants with apple slices baked in, called Apfelpfannkuchen, literally for apple pancakes, but they are usually considered to be main dishes rather than desserts. In some regions, Eierkuchen are filled and then wrapped, in others, they are cut into small pieces and arranged in a heap, called Kaiserschmarrn, often including raisins baked in. The word Pfannkuchen means pancake in most parts of Germany. A popular dessert in northern Germany is Rotgrutze, red fruit pudding, which is made with black and red currants, raspberries and sometimes strawberries or cherries cooked in juice with cornstarch as a thickener. It is traditionally served with cream, but also is served with vanilla sauce, milk or whipped cream. Rhubarber grutza, rhubarb pudding, and gruna grutza, gooseberry fruit pudding, are variations of the rote grutza. A similar dish, Obstkalt's kale, may also be found all around Germany. Ice cream and sorbets are also very popular. Italian-run ice cream parlors were the first large wave of foreign-run eateries in Germany, which began around the mid-1850s, becoming widespread in the 1920s. Spaghetti ice, which resembles spaghetti, tomato sauce, and ground cheese on a plate, is a popular ice cream dessert. A very common dish in Christian German culture is Wurstchen mit Kartoffels a lot, sausage, mostly Wiener Wurstchen, with potato salad, which usually is served on Christmas Eve. In recent years, raclette became known as a Christmas dish, too. While originating in Switzerland the dish has been adapted in wide regions of Germany. On the Christmas days following Christmas Eve, roasted goose is a staple Christmas Day meals. It is sometimes replaced with European carp, particularly in southern areas. The carp is cut into pieces, coated in breadcrumbs and fried in fat. Common side dishes are potato salad, cucumber salad or potatoes. Spread, brot, is a significant part of German cuisine, with the largest bread diversity in the world. Around 200 types of breads and 1,200 different types of pastries and rolls are produced in about 17,000 bakeries and another 10,000 in shop bakeries. Bread is served usually for breakfast, often replaced by bread rolls, and in the evening as, open, sandwiches, but rarely as a side dish for the main meal, popular, for example, with Eintop for soup. The importance of bread in German cuisine is also illustrated by words such as a benbrot, meaning supper, literally evening bread, and brotzeit, snack, literally bread time. In fact, one of the major complaints of the German expatriates in many parts of the world is their inability to find acceptable local breads. Regarding bread, German cuisine is more varied than that of either Eastern or Western Europe. Bread types range from white wheat bread, Weissbrot, to grey, Graubrot, to black, Schwarzbrot, actually dark brown rye bread. Some breads contain both wheat and rye flour, hence Mischbrot, mixed bread and often also whole meal and whole seeds such as linseed, sunflower seed, or pumpkin seed, Volkornbrot. Darker, rye-dominated breads, such as Volkornbrot or Schwarzbrot, are typical of German cuisine. Pumpernickel, sweet-tasting bread created by long-time steaming instead of regular baking, is internationally well-known, although not representative of German black bread as a whole. Most German breads are made with sourdough. Whole grain is also preferred for high fiber. Germans use almost all available types of grain for their breads wheat, rye, barley, spelt, oats, millet, corn and rice. Some breads are even made with potato starch flour. Germany's most popular breads are rye wheat, rog and mischbrot, toast bread, toast brot, whole grain, volkornbrot, wheat rye, whiz and mischbrot, white bread, weissbrot, multigrain, usually wheat rye oats with sesame or linseed, mayra cornbrot, rye, rog and brot. Sunflower seeds and dark rye bread Sonnenblum and Kernbrot, pumpkin seeds and dark rye bread, Kürbis Kernbrot, and roasted onions in light wheat rye bread, Zwiebelbrot. Bread rolls, known in Germany as Brötchen, which is a diminutive of Brot, with regional linguistic varieties being Semmel, in South Germany, Schripp, especially in Berlin, Rundstuck, in the north and Hamburg, or Wecken, Weck, Weckel, Weckeli and Weckla, in Baden-Württemberg. 
Switzerland, parts of southern Hesse and northern Bavaria, are common in German cuisine. A typical serving is a roll cut in half, and spread with butter or margarine. Cheese, honey, jam, Nutella, cold cuts such as ham, fish, or preserves are then placed between the two halves, or on each half separately, known as a belliked sprochen. Rolls are also used for snacks, or as a hot dog style roll for bratwurst, brattle, fleisch case or schwenker, schwenkbraten. Franz Brotten, which originated in the area of Hamburg, is the small, sweet pastry roll baked with butter and cinnamon. Beer is very common throughout all parts of Germany, with many local and regional breweries producing a wide variety of beer stop the pale lager pilsener, a style developed in the mid-19th century, is predominant in most parts of the country today, whereas wheat beer, vice beer, wisen and other types of lager are common, especially in Bavaria. A number of regions have local specialties, many of which, like vice beer, are more traditionally brewed ales. Among these are Altbeer, a dark beer available around Dusseldorf and the Lower Rhine, Kolsch, a similar style, but light in color, in the Cologne area, and the low-alcohol Berliner Weisse, a sour beer made in Berlin that is often mixed with raspberry or Woodruff syrup. Since the reunification of 1990, Schwarzbier, which was common in East Germany, but could hardly be found in West Germany, has become increasingly popular in Germany as a whole. Beer may also be mixed with other beverages such as Bills or Lager and Carbonated Lemonade, Radler, Lit, Cyclist, Alsterwasser, Lit, Water from the River Alster. Since a beer tax law was changed in 1993, many breweries serve this trend of mixing beer with other drinks by selling bottles of pre-mixed beverages. Examples are Bibob, by Kostritzer, Feltins V+, Mixery, by Carlsberg, Demix, by Diebels, and Cab, by Krombacher. Wine is also popular throughout the country. German wine comes predominantly from the areas along the Upper and Middle Rhine and its tributaries. Riesling and Sylvaner are among the best known varieties of white wine, while Spatbergender and Dornfelder are important German red wines. The sweet German wines sold in English speaking countries seem mostly to cater to the foreign market, as they are rare in Germany. Corn, a German spirit made from malt, wheat, rye, or barley is consumed predominantly in the middle and northern parts of Germany. Upsler, on the other hand, distilled from apples and pears, Upsler, plums, cherries, Kirschwasser, or Mirabelle plums, is preferred in the southern parts. The term schnapps refers to both kinds of hard liquors. All cold drinks in bars and restaurants are sold in glasses with a calibration mark, Eichstrich, that is frequently checked by the Eichemt, tilt the Bureau of Weights and Measures to ensure the guest is getting as much as is offered in the menu. Coffee is also very common, not only for breakfast, but also accompanying a piece of cake, coffee und Kuchen, in the afternoon, usually on Sundays or special occasions and birthdays. It is generally filter coffee, which is weaker than espresso. Coffee shops are also very common in Germany. Tea is more common in the Northwest. East Frisians traditionally have their tea with cream and rock candy, Kluncha. Germany has the 10th highest per capita coffee consumption worldwide. Popular soft drinks include Skirl, juice or wine mixed with sparkling mineral water, with Apfelschorle being popular all over Germany, and Spetzi, made with cola and an orange-flavored drink such as Fanta. Germans are unique among their neighbors in preferring bottled, carbonated mineral water, either plain, sprudel, or flavored, usually lemon, to non-carbonated ones. Drinking water of excellent quality is available everywhere and at any time in Germany. Water provided by the public water utilities can be had without hesitation directly from the tap. Usually, no chlorine is added. Drinking water is controlled by state authority to ensure it is potable. Regulations are even stricter than those for bottled water. C. German regional cuisine can be divided into many varieties such as Bavarian cuisine, Southern Germany, or Thuringian, Central Germany and Lower Saxon cuisine. Due to the physiogeographically situation, the Upper Rhine Plain with Germany's warmest climate, fruitful volcanic soils, already in the Roman period used medicinal springs and spas with very good infrastructural features, the proximity to France and Switzerland Baden had better prerequisites to develop a high-quality gastronomy than Württemberg or Bavaria. Special plant crops such as tobacco, wine, Fruit and horticulture are of supranational importance and offer the inhabitants and visitors a diverse and wide selection of local products. 
Asparagus and chestnuts are as skillfully used in the kitchen as tripe and escargot and a variety of fruity desserts and pastries is provided for the traditional German café und Kuchen, lit. Coffee and cake, similar to the British tea time. Nationwide this region features the highest density of star-rated restaurants, similar to the neighboring region Alsace which does the same for France. The Bavarian Dukes, especially the Wittelsbach family, developed Bavarian cuisine and refined it to be presentable to the royal court. This cuisine has belonged to wealthy households, especially in cities, since the 19th century. The old Bavarian cuisine is closely connected to Czech cuisine and Austrian cuisine, especially from Tyrol and Salzburg, mainly through the Wittelsbach and Habsburg families. Already in the beginning, Bavarians were closely connected to their neighbors in Austria through linguistic, cultural and political similarities, which also reflected on the cuisine. A characteristic Bavarian cuisine was further developed by both groups, with a distinct similarity to Franconian and Swabian cuisine. A Bavarian speciality is the Brotzeit, a savory snack, which would originally be eaten between breakfast and lunch. Bavaria is a part of southeastern Germany including the city of Munich and spreading to board with the countries Austria and the Czech Republic. The region is located at higher elevations, and is known for yielding beet and potato crops and also for the production of fine beers. Due to its century-old history as a harbor town, the traditional cuisine of Hamburg is very diversified and sapid as ingredients supply was safe. Until the 20th century, it was predominantly characterized by the extensive choice of different kinds of fish from the River Elba and the quick access to both North Sea and the Baltic Sea, both being roughly 100 kilometers away from the city center. The neighboring regions did supply the city state with fresh vegetables. Fruit came mainly from a region called Altusland just southwest of Hamburg and until industrialization. The neighborhood of Wilhelmsburg was considered the Milk Isle of Hamburg. International trade made spices and exotic nutrition items from Asia and South America available since the 16th century, which were soon incorporated into civic kitchens. On this basis, the cuisine of Hamburg developed its characteristics nowadays due to the super regional harmonization of the northern German on Scandinavian cuisine. Due to its high economic importance, Hamburg does feature many internationally recognized gourmet restaurants, 11 of them were awarded with a Michelin star in 2010. Wheat, grapes, sugar beets, and barley grow well, along with a variety of vegetables, which grow near Erfurt, the state's capital. Cauliflower, cabbage, savoy, red, white, kohlrabi, and broccoli, grow by traditional means near Erfurt. Tomatoes, lettuce, broad beans, onions, and cucumbers are grown in the eastern portion of the region near Jena under glass centers on a bat of land. Thuringia is the second largest herb growing region in Germany. The town of Kalita was once considered the peppermint town, where herb growers use it to congregate to study herb cultivation. One third of Thuringia is covered in forest, and is considered to be one of the best game hunting regions in Germany. Anyone holding a valid hunting license and a local hunting permit for the area may hunt for game such as red deer, roe deer, wild boar, rabbit, duck, and mouflon, mountain sheep. Pheasant and capercaillie are protected game species that may not be hunted. The wooded areas also contain a wide variety of edible mushrooms, such as chestnut mushrooms, porcini, and chanterelles, along with wild berries, such as blueberries, cranberries, raspberries, and blackberries, which are all traditional accompaniments to game dishes. The most famous foods from Thuringia are Thuringian sausages and s. The state is also known for its sausages, steamed, scaled, and cured varieties are all prepared. Popular varieties include touring and met worst, a spreadable cured sausage, a cured, air-dried sausage dried up to eight months, touring a Lieberwurst, a steamed pork and liver sausage, touring a rotwurst, a steamed blood sausage packed in a bladder or other natural casing, and met, minced pork. In general the cuisine is very hearty and features many peculiarities of central Germany such as a great variety of sauces which accompany the main dish and the fashion to serve kloss or canoodle as a side dish instead of potatoes, pasta or rice. Also much freshwater fish is used in Saxon cuisine, particularly carp and trout as is the case throughout Eastern Europe. The rich history of the region did and still does influence the cuisine. In the blossoming and growing cities of Dresden and Leipzig an extravagant style of cousin ice cherished, one may only think of the crab as an ingredient in the famous Leipzig or Lurle. In other, impoverished regions where the people had to work hard to yield some harvest, for example, the Erzgebirge, peasant dishes play a major role, 
Famous dishes originating from there include potatoes with gork, potato soup or potato with bread and linseed oil. In the Folkblatt region, where the peasants were wealthier, the tradition of Sunday roast remains to this day. Cereal grain cultivation occupies 62% of the cultivated land in Saxony-Anhalt. Wheat, barley, oats, and rye are grown, with the rye being grown near board, where it is used to make burger nakabro, a flatbread produced there since 1931. Another 10% of the cultivated area is planted in sugar beets for conversion to sugar, popularized after the 19th century, when the region had an economic boom. The first wave of foreigners coming to Germany specifically to sell their food specialties were ice cream makers from northern Italy, who started to arrive in noticeable numbers during the late 1920s. With the post-World War II contacts with Allied occupation troops, and especially with the influx of more and more foreign workers that began during the second half of the 1950s, many foreign dishes have been adopted into German cuisine. Italian dishes, such as spaghetti and pizza, have become staples of the German diet. In 2008, there were around 9,000 pizzerias and 7,000 Italian restaurants in Germany. The pizza is Germany's favorite fast food. Turkish immigrants have introduced Turkish foods to Germany, notably donor kebab. In November 2017, it was estimated that 1,500 donor kebab shops were a present in Berlin. Chinese, Vietnamese, Greek and Balkan restaurants are also widespread in Germany. Before 1990, the cuisine from Eastern Germany, 1949 to 1990, was influenced by Russian, Polish, Bulgarian and other countries of the communist bloc. East Germans traveled abroad to these countries on holiday, and soldiers coming to East Germany from these countries brought their dishes with them. A typical dish that came to the East German kitchen this way is salyanka. Indian, Vietnamese, Thai, and other Asian cuisines are rapidly gaining in popularity since the early 2000s. Until the late 1990s, many of the more expensive restaurants served mostly French inspired dishes for decades. Since the end of the 1990s, they have been shifting to a more refined form of German cuisine. Germany is the third largest agricultural producer in the European Union and the third largest agricultural exporter in the world. In 2013, German food exports were worth around 66 billion euros. Several food products are internationally known brands. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.